Hi, this is Sarah Keith from SundaySchoolNetwork.com. You know, there's parables all around us. As we read God's Word and as we study it, God will show us things in our everyday walk that remind us of truths from Scripture. And so, I had one of those moments this morning. I have been talking about this little pineapple. This is actually the third in, I guess, a series of lessons from the pineapple. Um, so I cut the top of the pineapple off, and it's just this little miniature pineapple. It was no, not any bigger than the size of an orange, so it was very tiny, but by the way, it was really good. Anyway, so I cut the top off, and I'm going to be taking it to my grandson to let him plant it in his yard, and then boom, there was the analogy. So I'm passing this pineapple down, this second generation pineapple, down to my grandson, who will plant it in his yard, and in another couple of years, it will grow a pineapple as well, as long as he waters it and takes care of it, which I'm sure he will. His mom is good about helping things like that. Anyways, so the analogy, or the things that I can learn from this, and hopefully you will too, is that we need to pass our faith down to the next generation. That's why I care so deeply about children's ministry that we teach our children the things of Scripture, that we teach our children about God and what God has done for us. And so, as I was thinking about this today and realizing that, you know, our time is short, and Paul reminds us in Ephesians 5.16 to make the very most of our time here on earth, recognizing and taking advantage of each opportunity and using it with wisdom and diligence to tell others about Jesus because the days are filled with evil. And boy, the days are seemingly filled with evil. But God is graceful, God is merciful, and He wants us to walk in our truth in His truth with Him. And so I hope that encourages you today to share your faith with others, particularly the next generation down. So bless you. Have a great day. Bye.